Guys, happy Monday. Uh, we're just gonna dive right into, today, into today's workout. So we have five sets. Um, in that one set, it's three minutes on, one minute off. In the three minutes, move at a fast pace. The rep schemes are very small, which means you should get at least around a minute, if not a little bit more. But you have four hang power cleans, and that is each arm. Four hand release push-ups, and then four box jumps slash broad jumps. Uh, the hang power cleans, preferably at your 50-35. Uh, with the hang power clean, if you're using the dumbbell, keep these by your side. Don't do the whole in the middle kettlebell swing motion, right? Keep it by your side, focus on that hinge of the hip, bringing it down to above my knee, that big shrug, and then get underneath. Try and finish in this position right here, right? Uh, it's gonna be very tempting to just do like a, a, a swing and bicep curl up. Pretty cool, but it is. there's no real benefit there, but you get a mad bicep pump. Uh, after that, the hand release push-ups. Right, really focus on keeping your quads off the floor. It'll make it that much harder um, as much as possible. So if you're using your knees to push off, right, so Bert, Coach Bertie's knees is on the floor, this will just make it that much easier. So if you have to scale it down, that's cool, but try and fight to keep these knees off the floor as you guys push up. So you just release your hands, big explosion up. Um, as you get more fatigued, watch where your hands go too. If your hands start traveling forward, Right? then you're putting a lot more pressure in those delts and you're essentially pushing into that down dog. So try and keep them as close as possible, push yourself straight up, keep them straight back down. That's about it. And then if you, if you uh, took out a box, it would be 24-20. Uh, if you don't have a box or nothing sturdy to jump on, uh, they're just four broad jumps. The broad jumps get the most out of it, right? Try not to just do these little four hops, get big jumps. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. If you have the kettlebell, feel free to use the the inside method of that hand clean, but dumbbells keep them on the outside and it is for each arm. With this, it's a pickup where you left off. So after that first set, if you finished on all four of your hand release push-ups, your second set, you're starting on your box jumps and you're just gonna keep going like so. So it should be a fast one. Um, really earn that minute of rest. After that, we have just a little bit of core. So we have this hollow flutter for 30 seconds, Russian twist. The Russian twists are all body weight and then 30 seconds rest, and it's four sets. Uh, these hollow flutters, right? So we're gonna get to that hollow position. As you hold, hold that hollow, like always, fight to keep those shoulder blades off the floor, right? And you're just gonna hold here, and then you're just gonna kick your feet. There's no real requirement of how high, how fast. Just think about quality, maintaining this little uh, flat back, right? It's gonna be super easy to just wanna lay out flat and then arch the back. Might be a little harder to see, but Coach Birdie's ribs are flaring up, right? We want to set his ribs down and pull his chest up. If that's too hard for you, then just bring your hands by your side, right, and kick almost like that, uh, that leg raise position. From there, the Russian twist, right? On this one, try and keep your feet off the floor if you can, it's body weight, and we're just focusing on control and twisting of the torso, right, working those obliques. Try not to just touch your hands to the side like this. I right? know real benefit to it, and then you have a 30 second other than that, the warm-up. It's three rounds. Each round, we're going to get faster and faster. So the first round, just kind of feel it out. Uh, just move through it. And then second round, go at a medium pace. Third round, hit it super fast, almost like a sprint. So it's a 200-meter run, 10 pass-throughs. The lunge with a twist, that's just 10 total. Um, trying to get that full rotation, right? So as Coach Birdie lunges down, he's going to rotate to both sides. So if you can point behind you, that would be best. 10 of those and then five vertical jumps here. We're just focusing on how high we can get. Not necessarily um, the squat depth, it's just jump up as high as you can five times. That's about it. And then right after that, we're gonna go into three rounds. This is just more for, uh, controlled, right? So five controlled pillar planks and then a 10 second single arm plank hold and that will be 10 seconds each arm. Five single leg broad jumps uh, as far as you can and then a 10 second push up hold for three rounds. This one, don't treat it like that, right? Just move through it, get the joints rolling. So those controlled pillar planks, remember hand, you're starting that plank position, hands out just in front of you, control yourself down to your elbows and then control yourself back up. Nice and um, control, like I said. And then from here, the single arm plank, where I really focus on just relying on this one arm or pressing away from the floor, keeping that core nice and tight. So there'll be 10 seconds each arm. From there, the single leg broad jump, Try and generate as much power as you can off that leg and get as far as you can and try and land nice and safe, uh, soft on that same leg. It's just five total on each leg and then that good old classic push-up hold at the bottom. 
really focus on holding it nice and tight, right? If I put a newspaper between his arms and his rib cage, Coach Bernie is focusing on holding that newspaper between. That's about it. Other than that, um, have fun with this one. Like I said, go nice and fast. Happy Monday.